So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the wall for the Bandai Tamashii Nations SH Figure Arts Homecoming Spider-Man wall set. So let's get into it right away and take a closer detailed look at this wall since I don't have the box. Alrighty, taking a closer detailed look here and I really do like the black wash that they added on the bricks. The bricks is pretty much the main part to this wall set here and the black wash it's not like some of it doesn't really have that much black wash it's very subtle why other pieces have heavier black wash on it like these pieces have much more black wash compared to this piece up here or that piece up there and then these pieces have more black wash on it and then I like how they the black wash is pretty heavy in between each brick there so I think they did a good good job with the black wash for the bricks there and then there's the other side and another thing I really dig about this is not every brick is perfect or not every brick is cracked. Some of them are cracked, some of them aren't, some have more cracks than others. Like this one up here has a ton of cracks, that one has a few of them, that one just has one, this one doesn't have any, that one doesn't, this one has a bunch. So I really like how they did that there with the cracks and the bricks and then same with on this side. So really great job with the sculpt and the black wash really turned out. Uh, very nice on this brick wall here and then the top piece here does have a nice texture to it and it kind of looks like there's cracks in it but I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be and they actually have that texture in the edge as well so I really do like that they did it up there also so overall I think they did a nice job with the detail on the wall here it's it's not like an eye opener but it is it is a cool little added addition in order for Bluefin to get this Spider-Man figure so us that don't live in Japan do have uh, the option of getting this Spider-Man here in the US so the detail I think turned out pretty damn good but anyway let's continue on alright so for the wall set you do get a total of 13 different pieces I don't have one of them because I told my buddy that he can keep the piece and it was the little circular Spider-Man symbol I'll show you guys a picture of it if I can find it but I told him he can keep that. I didn't want it. So you really do get 13 pieces with this wall set. So we get two of the longer brick pieces, then four shorter ones. And then we do get a clamp with an arm here for Spider-Man. And if you don't want this lower piece on it, you can unpeg it, take the clamp pieces off, and then put it on here and peg that in. So you have these two pieces. And I really love this arm. There's a lot of articulation in it. Then we do get like the base for it, which is where you connect the brick pieces into it so you have that and then we do have the very top right here that you could have spider-man chilling on that you put on the top of it as you guys saw before and then we do get these two pieces now when you set it up the longer way you use this piece to connect them all like you peg it into here and then you peg it into the bricks but if you peg it up the other if you connect the bricks the other way so it's like the corner of the wall you would put this in the back in the corner like that and then this would go on top so those are all the pieces included with this wall set let's continue on and for anybody who was curious where you would peg the arm into you could peg it into the top piece here as you see a peg hole so you can peg it right into there and you really get some great whoops it unpegged you really do get some great articulation out of this really nice movement with it I feel like they should use all these arms for their stands because you really get some excellent articulation out of it so you can peg it into the very top or you could remove that and you can peg it into this piece that actually holds the corner together so you could peg it right in there if you would like or you could actually peg it into any one of these holes in the back right here as you can see and I really like that you could peg the arm into any one of those holes back there so you have plenty of options where you would like to peg the arm into so anybody who was curious where you would peg this into that is how you do it. Let's continue on. And this is how you would connect it if you made like the corner of the wall, that little piece that goes on the inside as you could see right there. And if you set up the wall the other way where it's higher, this is where you would connect that piece in the middle of them that would hold it all together as you can see right there. All right, so this brick wall set here, you can display it in two different ways. So you do have the corner of the wall, which is the way I prefer to have it set up on my display and it looks dope like this I think it looks pretty cool so you have the corner of the wall with the top right there that you could have spider-man chilling on or you could put the uh, 
peg the arm into it and then put Spider-Man on the arm so it looks like he's swinging around or something. And then the other way you could set it up is like this. A more lengthy wall. So it's not the corner, it's just a straight up wall right here as you can see. So you could either set it up like this or like I just showed you, you could have it set up so it's like a corner of a building. But it is cool that you do have two different options to set up the wall. It's not just one option. You do have a couple options on how to display this wall with your Spider-Man figure. Now for the measurements of the wall set up this way. For the width of it, the longer bottom piece is a little bit over 8 inches wide. And then the top piece here is a little, is about 4 inches actually. And then the height of it from top to bottom is a little bit over 6.5. And, and then the gray piece on the top here, the width of that is just shy of 2.5 inches. And then the other side here, the width of it, this is a little over four and a half inches, then it should be the same for the height, a little over six and a half inches, then this should be the same as well, uh, just shy of two and a half inches. So that is the measurements for the wall set up this way. Let's set it up the other way and check out the measurements for it that way. And for the measurements of the wall set up this way, from the very bottom to the top, it seems like it's exactly eight inches high. Then for the width, it should be the same as the other measurements, and it is a little bit over eight inches wide. So that is the measurements of the wall that is included with the Homecoming Spider-Man. Let's wrap this review up, shall we? But anyway, that is my review of the wall for the SH Figure Arts Homecoming Spider-Man wall set. Hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to know the price and where to buy this set, you can head over to agelessgeeks.com because I do believe he does have it up for pre-order. If he doesn't, I know he will have it in stock very, very soon. And don't forget when you purchase something from agelessgeeks.com to enter in code name Daredevil and you will get yourself a 5% off discount. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, just give it a thumbs up anyway because action figures are awesome. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. Daredevil 19 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the wall for the Bandai Tamashii no Lands. And then we do get the main part. Whoops. <laughs> Damn it! You would get the little Spider-Man circular symbol thing, so you get that, and you get six. Whoops, drop my Spider-Man figure, you bugger.